Do you think reading is difficult? Hi, I'm Felipe Drago. Welcome to Drago Drums from London. And if the answer you gave was yes, you're wrong. <laughs> reading is not difficult at all. Reading music, it's quite easy actually. It's just a matter of doing it and paying attention. This series is about reading. Just rhythms, no melodies, just rhythms, right? The basics. And the method to learn reading is very easy, okay? You're gonna understand straight away. For this series, in the beginning at least, we're gonna be talking about 4-4 four, four bar, also known as common time. And that's exactly the reason, is the common time. Most of the songs, most of the music that you hear on the radio that you like is in 4-4. Four, four. There are very few exceptions. The vast majority, you're in 4-4. And once you learn how to read in 4-4, you can read in any time signature. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's start very basically, right? What will you need for the series? A metronome, a pair of sticks, and a practice pad. If you don't have a pair of sticks or a practice pad, you can always tap with your hands, you can tap on your legs, and you can sing, right? Okay, so, Starting from the very beginning. This thing we count one, two, three, four. We call it the bar or the measure, right? There's two, there's two names, bar or measure. And we count every time you hear somebody playing live, you're going to hear the drummer or somebody in the band count one, two, three, four, and everybody starts playing, right? So it's, that's not just something to tell when everybody is going to start playing, but also gives the speed of the song, how fast it's going to be, the tempo, and being 4-4 four, four is the number of beats in a bar. So one, two, three, four are the number of beats in the bar or measure okay so before we put any time signature here we're going to start by drawing a circle over here and pretend this is our bar so this is the bar let's imagine the bar is a pie or a pizza it's up to you whatever you like i like both <laughs> okay so if we don't cut any slices of the bar or of the pizza we have the entire pizza and we also have a note that represents the entire bar and it looks pretty much like the pizza okay this is the note that represents the entire bar let's change a little bit here because bar or measure is what we count one, two, three, four. So here is the note that takes the entire bar. Okay? In drumming, it means one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We wait. For drummers, we wait. One, two, three, four. But for a sax player, flute player, piano player, keyboard player, any kind of instrument that you can prolong the note, you actually hold the note for the entire bar. So you would go pa pa. Okay? But as drummers, we need to understand that because sometimes you're gonna be faced with this kind of things, right? So in blue, I'm gonna write the name of that note. In the US, it's called the whole note. In the UK, it's called semi-brief. Okay? Whatever name you use is the same thing. Pa. All right, so now we're gonna cut the 
our pizza or pie in half. So we, two, we have two halves. And we also have a note that takes half of the bar. And this note looks like this. Okay? So in drumming, again, we wait one beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? But, as I said before, all the instruments you can sustain the note, you have to hold the note for two beats. Pa, 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 pa. Okay? And now, I'm going to write the name of that note. In American English, it's a little bit more obvious. So if this is the whole note, this is the half note. Or in British English, minimum. Okay? So now we're gonna cut our pizza, our pie, or our bar in four parts. So now we have four slices of our musical bar, of our musical pizza, okay? And we also have one note that represents each of these parts of the pizza. And the note looks like this. As you can see, one note for each beat. And this is kind of where drumming starts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? So, what's the name of this note? Using the American nomenclature, it's a little bit more obvious. If this is the whole note, this is the half note, this is the quarter note. So in blue, I'm going to write quarter note. And in British English, it's called the crotchet. Okay? For the purposes of our our course, we're going to be using whole note, half note, and quarter note. But it's good to know the different ones, okay? So, as you can see, a whole note equals two half notes and equals four quarter notes. So now, let's, let's see these notes in action. Let me pull this down. And here we have some exercises, mixing and matching half notes, quarter notes, and whole notes. Okay? Let's start with number one. For the exercises, and for every exercise you're going to do, use the metronome. My metronome for this first lesson is at 80 beats per minute. Start with this one. I'm going to count one bar and then we'll start. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay? Second exercise. Now we have a rest. A quarter note rest. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 Next exercise. Many rests. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, 
two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Next exercise, we have this symbol. This is the half note rest. Two beats. One, two, three, four. 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 So now a couple of explanations here. You see the symbols, two bars and two dots. Some people write those. I like to do that when I don't have any lines. Some people just write the two bars, doesn't matter. So these two bars and the two dots means you have to repeat what's in between them. So in this case, these are called repetition signs. So whatever is in between these two symbols mean they have to be repeated. That's why I played twice each exercise, okay? 4-4. Four, four. The upper number tells me how many beats the bar has. One, two, three, four. The lower number tells me which note gets one beat. And this case is the note that is a quarter of the whole note, meaning the quarter note, okay? One, two, three, four. So the four, four bar is the bar that is four quarter notes long, okay? We're gonna stop with the explanations here because it's too much if you've never seen this before. When practicing these exercises, always count with the click one two three four in the beginning seems a little bit stupid and too easy but to but trust me as things get more complicated it's going to be a huge advance if you already have been counting okay so now let's turn the page and let's do more reading exercises combining quarter notes half notes whole notes and the rests here we have the whole note rest which means the entire bar is silent so this exercise now one two three four one two three four one two three four one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This one. One, two, three, four. 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 And the last exercise. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, even though my channel is for drummers, this can be applied to any instrument. You can practice rhythms with any instrument. Actually, you should practice rhythms with any instrument. Now, with technicalities. For drummers, these two bars, they sound exactly the same. But if you were a clarinet player, as I explained before, you would have held this note longer. So with a click, let me show you how does it sound. For a drummer, one, two, three, four. For a sax player, pa, pa, pa. Now with the rest, it sounds the same for both drummers and sax players. One, two, three, four, pa, pa, pa. For drummers, one, two, three, four. Okay? So this is what I have for this first lesson. So practice a lot. It's not very long, it's short, but it's gonna help you tremendously 
to understand how to read rhythms. Before I go, I have two book recommendations. So here I have the books. These seven exercises you can find in my book, Play the Drums, okay? Unit one, all right? So all these seven exercises are the seven exercises in the reading section of my book, Play the Drums. The other book I want to recommend is Syncopation by Ted Reed, okay? This is a classic book that every drummer should have. And for six pages of syncopation are exercises with quarter notes, half notes, and rests. Okay, so it's a great book for this is this is a, a great syncopation is an amazing book, but for it's a great book if you are starting to read music. Okay, but before we go let me show you the rest. I decided to play the rests first because it's a little bit easier to understand playing or being silent than too much theory. So for each note, we have a rest. So the whole note has its rest and it looks like this. And it's the same value as you saw in the exercise we played as the whole note. The difference is the note is the sound, the rest is the silent. So this note is the sound for the entire bar. This rest is the silence for the entire bar. Also, the half note has its own rest. And it looks like this. It's the opposite of the whole note rest, okay? So, this note is the sound for half of the bar. This rest is the little silence for half of the bar. And then you have the quarter note rest. The quarter note is the sound for one beat the rest is the silence for one beat, okay? So, this is what I have for you in the first lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel because this is going to be a series. So, you watch the first lesson. You really want to watch the second one to see where we're going to take this, okay? Thank you very much. See you on the next video. Bye.